<clears throat> Hello, this is Captain Sweep, and I've got my five-minute message of the day. And today's topic is going to be a question to you, and it is, how do you organize your mind? This may not be a question that you get asked a lot in your lifetime, but you may wonder why it hasn't been. Like, what is the mind? How is it organized? And how much training have you had in terms of organizing this mind. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, then ask yourself this, how important is your mind? You know, what are you using right now to understand me? How are you correlating your information? How are you sifting it? How are you interpreting reality? My guess is it's through your mind. And this mind is not really under your control. Can you change your thoughts when you want? Can you stop your thinking? Can you stop the critical monkey mind in your mind? Every spiritual tradition at some point is going to address the mind and is going to give a construct for the mind. And that is what a worldview is. People see this reality through a conceptual universe that we can't see. This is one of the very strange things about this world. And we don't talk about it much. We don't go around other people and go, well, hey, buddy, how do you organize your mind? And how does that change how you perceive reality? person may say they're a Christian or a Buddhist or a Jew or a planetary guardian. And whatever that name is constitutes what they identify with at the higher level of abstract thinking and your beliefs and values and what you have decided to be or you were conditioned into being. And so, when I ask the question, how do you organize your mind? It's, it's the beginning of a journey of you taking control of the design of your inner world. And to me, the best way to do so is to learn how to make conceptual maps. To learn how to mind map, but not just mind map the physical reality, to mind map the conceptual reality. And I'm not saying it's real, but I am saying that it has a huge impact on your life. And that there's a big distinction between real experience and the conceptual thinking about real experience or objects and what categories we use are our little file folders within our mind that dictate how we organize things in our mind. And so this is more of a question to have you ponder, but most of the tools that I will be putting forward in other videos and other courses and modules are about <coughs> Excuse me. They are about you designing your future with a reference point that is organized on sacred geometry. There's a link between how you organize your mind, sacred geometry, and how the universe is organized at deeper layers of connection between the fundamental elements of our existence and when you use your mind to design your value system and then know how to consciously interact through this value system with the world you are now entering a spiritual warrior conscious zone that is also very tricky better watch that video see you